There are two different chargers, but they both do exactly the same thing with similar displays. So the single thick cable with the three pin goes into the larger black charger and the one with the transformer has its own kettle lead into the transformer and it's got a barrel pin into the blue one here. So the, the different power sources there. This one's already connected. Now what you do is you take your battery, you take the small white plug on the end of the battery, which has four connection pins like that. And as you can probably see on the side here, there's loads and loads of different pin sockets. So it just goes into the one with four pins, which is the middle on the top row there. It kind of goes on upside down. So if you look on the socket itself, it's got sort of the contact side and then the little rail side. You go with the rail side pointing up. So that goes in first. And then the two positive, the positive and negative cables with the plug end here from the battery goes into this banana plug so type socket here. So you've got the uh, positive and negative ends in the charger there, which come through to this little red um, socket that looks exactly like the one on the um, gimbal itself. So that plugs in there. So once you've done those two things, then it's ready to read the battery and charge it. If you don't have this plugged in for some reason, then it'll be unable to read the level on the cells and it can't charge unless it knows what the cells are at. So this button here on the far left skips through everything, all the different program modes. Um, uh, sorry, once you once you use that, you can select the program. The, sorry, on this charger, the left and right arrows change all the modes. So you can see there, it's changing Lilo, LiHF, Nickel, uh, Nickel Cadmium, all the various different types of battery. You don't want to do any of these. The only one you want is LiPo battery there. And this is just a toggle system, so you can just keep going through this until you find LiPo. You don't want to accidentally do LiFe or uh, LiIO, which are two different types of chemical. You just want LiPo. So that'll be what you, you see when you first plug it in and turn it on. If you leave it in that mode, normally it comes back up in that mode. Yeah, your LiPo balance charge. If you want to be sure, just exit that by pressing that button there on the left and it'll tell you what battery and what program you're on. So you want the LiPo battery. Enter. Now, once you're in the LiPo menu, uh, you're in the right area, you've got all the various different settings that the charger can perform for the battery. So you've got balance charge, a regular charge, a fast charge, a storage setting, a discharge setting, and then you're back to the, back to the start there. Um, the balance charge is uh, good if you want to make sure all the cells are evenly valued. It takes a little bit longer. A regular charge will just charge a battery, which is in a healthy condition. So these ones have been charged several times, so it's probably fine just to use the charge mode there. Fast charge will do the same thing again, but it won't necessarily level the cells. It'll just do it quickly. So if you needed them for a shoot or something like that, you could use fast charge. Now the storage mode is very useful. If you know you're not going to use the gimbal for a week or several months or something like that, um, put them through this storage cycle and it brings them down to a safe voltage per cell um, so they're not at risk of uh, overinflating uh, or, or bursting or anything like that, um, which is important for these batteries. So that's that. Um, and then a discharge. Um, it does a similar thing, but it doesn't take them down um, sorry, it takes them down further than a storage charge normally would. So a storage charge takes it down to a kind of nominal value, which is still holding charge, but not um, completely discharged, whereas discharge takes it right down to a sub-level if you need to um, basically destroy the battery or, or um, if it's ended its life or it's at risk of overinflation or something like that, then you can just discharge it completely. Um, so you want to charge that you then long press enter once you check these values are correct now these settings four amps 
is what that refers to, 4000 and 11.1 .1 volts 3 cell, 3S on this charger. Uh, you can't see on this battery very well, but there's another one there, 11.1 .1 volts 3 cell. So as long as that lines up with that, then it's in the correct setting to charge. Um, what you normally do is long press enter, it runs a battery check, and it's asking you to, it's reading three cells, um, oops, there. So if you're happy with that, it's asking you to confirm by pressing enter. Obviously I'm too slow, but when you press enter, then it'll start the cycle to charge. Um, if this isn't connected, then you try and press enter, it'll come up with that error message, and that's what it means. You just need to make sure that that is firmly planted in there before you get going. Um, you can change these things. Obviously, if you press enter once, it'll start jumping through these values, and if you accidentally press sideways, then you might change the um, uh, amp rating on the battery, which you just don't want that anything except for four. That's four is correct. Likewise, press it again, changes the number of cells available, but you make sure you only ever want 11.1 .1 volts, three cell. And then long press and hold. Confirm. And there it goes, it's starting to charge. And if you need to stop it for some reason, just hit stop. That's it. Now this charger is basically exactly the same. I'll just unplug. Uh, so there again, this is coming up with LiPo charge, 4 amps, 11.1 volts, 3 cells is all correct because I've only ever used these charges for these batteries, so this should be fine. Of course, if it reads anything else, exactly like that charger, program select, just make sure you're cycling through until you get LiPo battery. There it is. Okay, enter. All correct. And you take your battery in exactly the same way. You've got this little grid at the side, rails up, plug in the white cable, and you've got your banana plugs. This one has several options on the end, but it's always that same one, but it's the uh, same as the gimbal. That goes into there. Oops. There we go. Battery is now connected on both sides. I'm actually going to put this one into a discharge state while we wait or a storage state. go. Now this is ready to go, so if we wanted to charge this up, long press enter again, confirm, off it goes. <laughs>